Hi, this is Janelle from the Cook Family Homestead here to give you a, a quick update and tour of um, the office where I teach each morning for VIP Kid. I uh, just wanted to give you a walk through um, how I organize my classroom, how I start each day, how I store my props, and what my office looks like. Um, my backdrop for my classes. I used to be teaching in the basement um, before the office up here upstairs in our house was ready. So um, as you can see the oil drip pan that is attached to the wall behind me, I used to use that for my backdrop downstairs and now we just kind of put it up here and I just use it to store some of my magnets on it. Um, but I wanted to give you a quick tour and then if you have questions you can leave a comment after the video. Thanks. Okay. Okay, this is a view of my office when you first walk in. There's the office upstairs. We walk in and I have these um, studio lights that we had purchased for making videos and for when I'm working in the morning. Um, we have a set of three. I use two of them because two is bright enough. And each light actually has two bulbs and I only use one bulb of e from each one. Um, too much light kind of gives me a headache so two just seems to be perfect and give me the right amount of lighting that I need for each of my classes. Um, let me show you what I do. When you walk over here in my desk, I have a few props here in my little cup, just props of the characters that I use in each of my classroom. I always keep my flashcards right on the desk, I use those every day, and I also keep my clipboard here where this is my classes for tomorrow. The clipboard shows the note cards for the names of each kid I, I um, am teaching that morning and I have them broken down by each lesson as well on the paper. If you watch in my other videos you'll see how I organize um, my classroom or my classroom notes and each of my students and how I keep track of what lessons I teach them. So if you keep walking over here there's my computer. I keep it up on a binder just to keep it a little higher and a little more elevated so um, the students can see me better and see my, back, my backdrop. This is my backdrop. It's very simple. So um, I will show you how I take it apart. I'll take it apart here in a minute so you can see exactly what I use to make this. Um, what we did is everything is magnetic. If you see everything on the back of this magnets and um, let me slide this down. If you look behind here, this is actually just a big sheet of metal that my husband had purchased at like a Home Depot or a Lowe's store and he just measured it out. Um, not quite sure the measurements, I can get those for you before the end of the video. And we spray painted it, but since it was metal, the lights kind of glared. So I purchased um, some fabric from a local fabric store and I just get this heavy duty magnets and they hold the fabric right up. So that works great. And I got a different a couple different colors of fabric so I can switch out my backdrop my backdrop every once in a while and it seems to work great. And um, I have my set of stars. So when the kid my student does a good a good job, I can just throw a star up on the board while I'm teaching and it looks great. Um, over here I have some of my props. I don't know if you can see. I love these storage containers. I got these at Aldi. Um, if you have an Aldi by you, once in a while they have these bargain deals that you can find in their stores. And um, I purchased this set here. Um, and I also purchased this one here. And they work great in my classroom. And they're within reach, so I can just reach, through, reach down and um, open a drawer. And each drawer is organized for a different kind of class or has specific props in it. Here's some magnetic letters. Um, I have some math manipulatives in there. I have um, dolls and I have food. So I have different things in there. Um, these are my stuffed animals that I use a lot in my classroom. And just different odds and ends of props in here like microphones and dinosaurs and um, pointers and um, glasses and stuff. So I have some dry erase boards down here that are magnetic. I use those quite often. And I have my headphones. And I have my box of different rewards. I also have a video on how I do or how I store my different rewards on this. Um, and then this drawer here on my desk is how I organize um, some um, props for different specific topics in classes. Like you do a class on the face, you do some on school, on food, on animals and sports. So I have those in there. And I also have my index boxes where I keep 
each student's note card. I keep them in the store as well. Um, so that is kind of how I organize my classroom. I hope that helps. These drawers I kind of have in here. Yeah, I have my flashcards. I have some more reward systems in here. Ones I specifically use. I have food magnets in one. And I have colors in another. So that is how I organize my classroom. And I hope that kind of gives you a good idea of what I do each morning. My space that I use each morning. And um, I hope that that was helpful for you. Um, and check back for some more videos and I will show you the different headphones I use, the type of computer I use, and um, just some other odds and ends that I do to help my classroom be successful and to be um, the best it can be to, to make my classroom a welcoming and warm environment for my students each morning. Well, I hope this video was helpful to just give you a really quick tour of my office and what I do each morning, how I have it set up, how it works for me. Um, uh, like I said, I just use this magnetic board here and I just bought a pack of these really heavy duty magnets at Walmart. They work they work good. I mean, you can buy those Neo Dominium, Dominium, I can't even pronounce it, magnets that work really good, but they're very, very small and I have little children. So I was a little nervous to use those ones quite yet. So, but those ones work good too. But these ones, they do the trick and I just buy a roll of these, this magnet and I can cut it down. They have self adhesive on the back and I use that in the back of my, my magnets and they seem to be working just fine on my magnet board and it makes me happy and I like magnets, magnets and I like props and um, my classroom seems to be working very well. And, I hope that gives you an idea of how maybe you could set up your classroom. You could tweak it a little bit, do make it your own. Um, just wanted to share that with you. But thanks for watching and I will talk to you later.